I have the Google Pixel 6 smartphone right here and in today's video I'll be showing you how to revert this phone back to 100% stock firmware. This process can be needed for a number of different reasons. Maybe you just tried out one of Google's latest beta programs or maybe you tried out the whole root and custom ROM thing and learned that it just wasn't for you. No matter what the reason, we can return the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro to the latest stable version of Android in just a few simple steps. Before we can begin, the big requirement of this video is that the bootloader of the phone needs to be unlocked because we are going to be manually flashing firmware files. This is something you've likely already done but it is required, so I thought I should point it out. If you need more information about this, be sure to check the video description below, as I'll have a separate video showing you how to unlock this bootloader. Now, I'll be using the Android Flash tool in this video, since I had such success with it in the past, but this can also be done via the command prompt too. The end result is the same no matter which method you choose to go with. One requires a little bit of knowledge of the command prompt, while the other uses Chrome and the whole web ADB feature that Chrome has added support for. So here I am at Google's factory image website. And I'm just gonna scroll down until I see my device which is the Pixel 6. You can also scroll a little further to find the Pixel 6 Pro. And again, I'll be linking to this page in the video description as well. So you want to find your phone in the list, and then we're gonna find the firmware that we want to flash. So you can see we're gonna revert back to Android 12, and we're gonna go through this list and grab the latest version. You can see there are notes telling us which month these firmwares were released from November to January to February. So we're going to grab the latest February firmware for the Google Pixel 6 and we're going to be clicking the flash link for this firmware. So when we click the flash link right here we're gonna be taken to the Android Flash tool, which tells us that we can install an Android build in three easy steps. We just need to connect the device via a USB cable, select which software we want to install, and then install it to our device. So we're gonna click this blue Get Started link right here. It's going to instruct you to download the Android USB driver, but you may already have this installed like I do. So we're just gonna click on already installed. You may also have Chrome blocking pop-ups here. So if you get this message, be sure to check Chrome to see if you have any pop-ups blocked. And if you did, we're just going to click the, we're gonna allow those pop-ups and click the show dialogue again so that we get this pop-up here. We're going to click the Allow ADB Access, and that's just going to take us to the Selected Device screen. So we're gonna go through this. If you have not already enabled Developer Mode, go ahead and do that now. I've done a previous tutorial showing you how to do that. So again, you can check the video description below to find the exact steps on how to do that. And then we're going to enable USB debugging mode from within the developer options menu. With that done, we can then plug in our Google Pixel 6 into the PC with the USB cable. And once we have connected our phone to the PC with that USB cable, we're gonna click the add device button right here. That should bring up a pop-up dialog box right here, listing our Google Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro. We're going to click that, 
and then click connect. And after we have selected our phone, we should see that device in the selected device section right here. And we should get a connected message. If you see any error messages, something like telling you to kill the ADB server, then you likely already have ADB running in the background. So you're going to need to run ADB kill server in a command prompt. Not everyone is going to need this. You're only going to need to do that if you have the ADB kill server error message listed right here. Since this selected device section says connected, we can continue from here. Now, if you remember back, we selected the February build of the Android 12 firmware for the Google Pixel 6. So we don't have to change anything here. And since we are returning this device back to stock Android, we're going to select the wipe device option. Now you can select the lock bootloader option as well if you want. It's generally not something I recommend unless you are 100% sure you want the bootloader locked. I will continue to install various mods on this device, so I want to keep the bootloader unlocked, but that may be different for you. We have a number of advanced options here that we are going to skip so that we can just click the install build button right there. The screen is just going to ask us to confirm everything that we have set up already. We have our selected device. Make sure that this is correct. We have our selected build. Again, make sure this is correct. We can refer back to the Android factory image screen if we need to. And then just know that we are going to be doing a factory reset. All of our data is going to be lost. We should not interact with the device unless instructed to do so because we need to keep the device with a secure USB connection so that these factory images, these firmware files can be sent to the device. So be sure to not unplug your device either. Once you're ready, we can return back to stock by clicking the confirm button right here and then clicking the I accept message. Now I just saw my Google Pixel 6 turn off. This is normal. It has booted up into fast boot mode, also known as bootloader mode. Even though nothing's happening right now, this is still in progress. We're just going to wait. We're going to be patient and we're going to let the Android flash tool revert our phone back to stock firmware. So now we're told that we need to reselect our device because we have booted into fast boot mode. So we're going to click reselect device. We see this pop-up box appear. We're going to select the Pixel 6 and then click connect again. Once that's done, you should see Chrome start to download that firmware file. It is a fairly large file, so it could take some time. We're just going to be patient and again, let the Android flash tool do all this work for us.
we are going to see our phone reboot a few times. We can see it tell us that the phone is rebooting right here. Even when we get to this part, we're going to re be rebooted into user space fastboot. That's going to boot us into fastboot D on our device. You can see some of these steps seem like they are sticking and that the progress bar sometimes seems like it is stuck. We're just going to wait patiently. After a few minutes of that, you should see it move on to different parts of the script like it's doing. Remember, do not unplug the device and do not interact with the device, meaning do not select any menu options on the phone unless instructed to do so by this page. Once we see that green install complete message, our Google Pixel 6 should reboot on its own and it's going to boot us back into Android like normal. 
once you see the phone reboot, you can then unplug that USB cable and watch the phone go through the normal boot sequence. This first boot back into Android is going to take a little bit longer than normal, since again we just did that factory data reset. So it's going to take us to the Android activation screen. And after skipping through the activation, we can then boot right back into Android where we can see exactly which version we are now running on our device. So I have just returned this Google Pixel 6 from the Android 13 beta back to the stable build of Android 12. But again, this will return you back to stock no matter what is on your device, whether it is a custom ROM, whether it is a custom kernel, even if you have just installed Majisk, you can revert back to complete 100% stock Android by following the tutorial we just did today.